welcome back to N4 Learning Channel. So we're still going to keep with the Edge 10 controller, and which was on the previous video. I've just pulled in the on the Net Niagara network another controller that's on the same LAN, and that's also version 1.4.11. And this station's at 4.11, so we can see that again on the administration page. 4.11. Now I've added to this Modbus TCP network, and I've put in a Mix 38 IP module. Now we've with the Modbus Async Network, the RS-485, I don't have a Mix 38 with just RS-485, but I've got a Mix 38 with IP, so hence I added this in. The reason I added this in is just to show you, if I used all the inputs on this device, as well as the universals as digital, then I would have... 20 points, 20 digital points, but only using one proxy. And whenever I use the 12 digital outputs, again, I've only got one proxy point. And if I use the um, six analog outputs and put 10 volt DC relays on the end of there, on the controller, or I put in, wire in a uh, six volt DC relays, little small ones I could control these outputs so I would literally have 38 IO but only taking the space of 2 IO so if we look at the resources of this 50 um, point JACE you can see that we're only using 2 points here out of the 50 yet we know that we've got 38 points that we can use on the mix as long as we can as long as they are digital all digital inputs and and digital outputs if we start adding in analog outputs we would increase this point of course and if we start adding in universal inputs we would increase this global capacity points The Niagara network, I'm just pointing to my LoRa on the same network LAN. But we've also then got the, forget the edge. Well, no, let's have a look at the edge. These are three points. So all these are three, i.e. they don't count to the proxy point count. So we've got um, three digital outputs. We've got two analog outputs, and then we've got five universal inputs. One of them, as you can see, is a digital. They don't count. So if I was putting temperature sensors on, I would probably use these three points first on the edge. If I was doing analog outputs, I'd use these three points first before I go to the mix 38. And then if I needed any more, I'd go to the mix 38. But as soon as I start adding in, extra points on the mix 38 then that counts going to go up so I'll give you an example if we look at the wire sheet and go to the mix 38 IP and put in the an analog output analog output one so that's now going to show three points that we've used and if I go to the universal inputs and put a temperature in for UI1 that's now going to be four points that we've used. So if I go back to Resource Manager, now I've got to update it. It's still saying two. Um, sorry, it's still saying two. There are fifty. Update. Now it's saying four of fifty. So we've got four points out of the fifty that we're using. So we can't go above fifty points. 
so by putting on a mix 38 to be it an rs485 or an ip module you can increase them points no problem at all if i just take them back out delete delete now what i would normally do with these is i would make a folder a logic folder if i've got one here and underneath that I would put a new folder and I call that inputs and then I'll just duplicate that and put outputs and then I'll put some inputs in here so boolean right up also input one just tidy that up take the ins 16 out put that to a false so set it to a false and then I can duplicate that duplicate all them duplicate all them duplicate all them and 18, 70, 18, 19, 20 duplicate and then what I would do with the mix 38 I'll go into the wire sheet you could do it in the points if you wanted to but I'd link mark that and then I would go back into my inputs link from DI1 into that link from DI2 into that one link from DI3 into that one and so so forth so if I was doing that input 16 link from so we've got 12 there 13 14 15 16 that one there I'll link that there and when you look at your point count these are not included because they're not physical proxy points as such they are well they are points but they're not included in the license because they're they're not an input into the controller or an output from the controller all we're doing is following that input there so we still only just got that and depending on the value of that depends on what inputs and outputs are on so if I put a short say on it digital input 4 that will go true but it's only one proxy point that I'm using I think I'm making myself clear but if I'm confusing you I'm, I'm sorry I, I don't know how else to explain it but if we look at our points we still only got two of 50 then what I can do with my points in my inputs folder I can then change the text so if that was a fire alarm that would be healthy and if it was false that would be fire so I can save that and then I can also add into that input one an alarm get the alarm palette extensions boolean change of state alarm so that would be an alarm now at that point let's just rename that fire alarm or we'll just do um, di1 fire alarm use wire sheet so that's in fire now the alarm hasn't because the alarm needs set in there for fire and there we have the fire alarm from that digital input one so if I go and short that out now which I'll just put you on pause and I'll go and short that out with a wire so I'm now shorted that out and of course it's back to healthy so we've got all these points that we can use well, 
more than these just with one uh, proxy input views resource manager global capacity devices oh no it's not that that's two and four and is that one there global capacity points so I'm just using two points yeah I've got using an ISMA mix 38 I've got all them points available as long as I don't use universal inputs and as long as I don't use analog outputs so that is it for that uh, showing you about putting a the other good thing with the NISMA is an ISMA IP module has got RS-485 built onto it so I can take meters by a RS-485 from that module wire up meters and then I can bring those that meter data back via IP into the system so I don't need another RS-485 i.e. on the I.O. So, so say I've got an Edge 10 which has got one RS-485 and I use that for BACnet on COM port 1. I can then use this mix because I've now got it connected via IP I can use the RS-485 on that mix to then give me Modbus or BACnet if I wanted to but Modbus on another network and bring in Modbus meters so I can use an Ed, at Edge 10 use the existing RS-485 on the Edge 10 for BACnet and then I can use if I've got an IP and it's got to be an IP Mix 38 it can't be just the RS-485 I can use the RS-485 terminals on the Mix 38 IP to then bring in Modbus meters so I, I've, sit, I've still got only a, an Edge 10 Jace with one RS-485 but now because I've added a Mix 38 IP I've now got two RS-485s that I can use if need be so that's an adva ad advantage of having a Mix 38 IP you can also you don't have to go with a Mix 38 you can go with the Mix 18 IP and that also has a facility in fact all Mix modules IP modules have the facility to bring in an RS-485 so if you wanted to you could get by something like a, a mix 8i use the 8 inputs you only got one proxy point needed but you can use it unless the pulses but use the 8 inputs and then what you can do is you can connect meters to the RS-485 port and bring them in but every value of every meter uh, like the kilowatt hours is one proxy um, and with the edge you can only bring in three devices anyway but saying that I'm not too sure whether it works let me have a play and let me see let me put you on pause so I've added a ISMA BU uh, 4U4A device now it's not an IP device it's RS485 only but in order for me to bring in the points I've had to select from the palette the ISMA uh, IP probably be better I, I draw you out a diagram but just for the moment you've got a mix 38 connected via IP to the controller the edge uh, 10 controller then I've took an RS-485 from the Mix38 IP which have got RS-485 terminals and I've taken that and connected to the RS-485 4U4A module which is not an IP module, it doesn't have an uh, Ethernet connection, it's only just got RS-485 connection and then I've configured this with the same IP address but of course I've got a different device address this is device address 5 where the ISMA MIX38 is device address 9 I think it would be better I draw you out a picture so you can see how this is connected but I am taking basically I'm using the RS485 port like I keep saying 
on the MiX-38 to connect to the Modbus of the um, RS-485 of the 4UA. Let me do you a drawing and then you can see a bit better. So here's the drawing. So we've got the Niagara controller here, the Edge 10. We've taken an Ethernet cable and we're going straight into the uh, Mix 38 IP. And then the Mix 38 IP, the RS-485, is going into the uh, 4U4A module, which doesn't have IP, it is just normal RS-485 and as you can see we're bringing the points in so we've got two devices now but we're running that device is going through the mix 38 device via IP so let's see what we've got now the exercise of this was, was just to find out what we have got on our points So out of our 50, we've got four, which is right. We've got two on the Mix 38, and we've got two on the 4U4A module. And our global capacity devices is currently two. So the points for these, these are your two points here for your 4U4A and these are your two points here for your Mix 38 so by using a Mix 38 IP we have managed to put in a 4U4A RS485 but we've had to bring in the the module for that because I'm in the TCP network I can't just take a normal Modbus 4U4A module this here I can't just drag and drop that into that illegal parent Modbus TCP so I've had to basically drop in the TCP module even though it's not a TCP device it is just an RS-485 device to wire but that's how you would use your Mix38 RS-485 connection to add another device or add meters add, add what you want but it's got to be put into this so the address for this has got to be the same address as the Mix38 address you're just changing the device address here and as you can see the mix 38 address is here and we've got a device address 9 so we that that device couldn't be a device address 9 it's got to be set as another device and the same with any meters that you bring in if we brought meters into this configuration it can't be a 9 and it can't be a 5 for your modbus address it's got to be another address so that's it i think that's simple enough we still got our points here as well yeah okay if you like what you the video can you please subscribe thank you very much